Okay, so this is uh, Windows 10 Project Neon, uh, and it's version 0.2.7. And it might not be released for a bit because uh, not everything is, is working as Amir wants it to, so he's gonna get it fully working before he sends it out to people. But so far, I have found it excellent. And I've also got it running on my little big tree tech screen. And as you can see, it works on that as well. Uh, which I was quite surprised at because not everything works on this due to uh, resolutions and things like that, but actually it works fine. Anyway, I'll switch over to screen capture. Okay, so if we press Control Alt Delete and go into Task Manager and click on Performance, you'll see that I'm using 8 gig of RAM and the CPU usage is super low. Uh, this is a very small build. 0.27 is only 7.1 gig as standard. Now I've installed Team Fortress 2 on there, uh, which has taken up loads of room, but actually I was surprised at how much room was left by it. So he's managed to remove OneDrive from the startup page. So Pymon is uh, fully working and you can see it reports Raspberry Pi, eight gig. Uh, we've got the temperature here. Uh, we've got the various different frequencies and the voltages. But if I go down to the bottom here, you can see that I've got temperature there as well. So 28 degrees. I'm running super cool because I'm using a uh, ice tower cooler, but without the fan. But then I've got my cluster case, which you saw at the start of the video, which is keeping everything cool and it keeps it super cool. So I'm not overclocked, uh, but I probably will overclock uh, in the future. But everything is, is working and is everything stable and, and great. So let's just open up the web browser. So let's do a search. As you can see, the web browser is actually pretty snappy. I was quite impressed when I tried this, first of all. The performance over Ethernet. So this build currently isn't supporting Ethernet, uh, although you can, uh, Amir's given me some drivers to install, so I can get it working. But all I did was plugged in a USB Ethernet adapter and it came on straight away, no issues at all. Same with sound as well. So from a sound point of view, if I go to YouTube and we just start playing something, uh, the audio is working fine. So let's, I'll do one of my videos. So let's just pick something with a bit of gameplay in it. So you can hear the audio coming through my speaker. So I'm using a 99p from eBay sound card uh, and the sound is working fine. Okay, so I wanted to show uh, one of the reasons why I really like it. So that's from the video that I'm playing that audio. I go into the gameplay a bit. Now, I'm going to refund this. Thing. So you can see it's absolutely fine. Let's just pause that. Uh, video modes, uh, so you can see this is playing in 360. I think it goes 480, all right? But actually, I see myself playing this. Yeah, I'd say 480 is all right. Uh, let's go for 720. Or 720, 60 FPS, probably not going to be a good thing. That's not doing very well. Whoa, that was nice. Where it went out of shape. Actually, that, that looks all right. 720 looks all right. Let's just mute my voice. Yeah, 720 is coping really quite well. So let's have a look at the, uh, the desktop. I really, oh, actually, let's pause that video first. In fact, let's close that down. So let's hit the start bar. Uh, you can see he's put a new icon here. Uh, all of this works really nicely. So if I click on all apps, there's not a lot on here at the moment. I installed PaintShop Pro because I've had that for years. VLC seems to be working all right, actually, uh, for video and audio. Uh, now, have I got, I haven't got a USB device plugged in. Let's just plug in a USB device. Now, I've actually got loads of USB things plugged in now. So I've got my uh, USB hub, which is an Ethernet adapter. I've got my USB sound card. I've got a mouse. I've got a separate mouse keyboard uh, and also a USB stick. So lots of things plugged in here. Let's not bother to do a scan. And let's see from this stick. This really does feel incredibly good. I, it, this is way better than before. So I'll get the speaker near me. So I won't play too much of it because it's music, obviously. Uh, now, I think the only video I've got on here is a 1080 video, but I think it plays it all right. So if it struggles to play, 1080 video, but I found that 720 video worked all right, although I don't have any 720 on my stick. Um, but all of the file management and everything, everything is super quick. So if I flick through these, I'm actually amazed at how well this works. This is by far the best, oh, and look, network, 
my NAS drive was showing up then. Uh, so can I get it just to play video without having to deal with the whole sharing thing? Video. See if it will play one of these test files. Yeah, that's actually playing all right. So that's streaming from my NAS drive, uh, and that would be, I think, I think that's in standard definitions at about 360. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's that's impressive. So if I go to music, yeah, can't play any more of that. But you can hear that's working fine as well. So it's working for streaming media, which is nice to see. Let's close that down. PaintShop Pro. I don't think I've got any images on here, that's the trouble. So I'll have to go to the web and I'll have to get an image, a bit of multitasking. So uh, let's get an Xbox Series S image. I've just, I'm pre ordering one of these on the 22nd. Oh, look, someone's trying to sell one on eBay already. <laughs> right, let's. Uh, Copy image, save image as, save that in pictures and save. And let's open this. And this is running from an SD card. It's an A2 SD card, um, but uh, it's running really, really well. I can't, I, this is by far the best I've ever had Windows running on Raspberry Pi. Uh, so the eight gig is supported. I'm using my Ethernet adapter and the internet is great through it. The audio is great through my 99p sound card. Uh, it's nice and cool. Uh, everything is, is running incredibly well. So effects, edge, more. There you go. So you can see that 3D effects, button eyes. Everything is working nice. And if I want to go back and back again, yeah, it look forward back, back again, impressive. So let's close down PaintShop Pro. Uh, there's a shutdown option here. I don't know why this is on the desktop, but it, um, when you press it, you can just grab and slide down, which is kind of an old touchscreen style uh, interface, which the I think the Surface used to use something like that. Notifications are working. Uh, so you can see here about security center, your privacy settings blocked access to the microphone. So it's picked up my USB sound card and I can use the microphone through that as well. It does, the USB support seems to be amazing. Let's open up a Genesis emulator, which I've had running on a previous version. So if we launch a game, and I think if I double click, I can go, I can go full screen. I don't know the keys, and I think it's ASD. Rise from your grave. And the audio is that bad. There you go, see that's working fine. Oh. I haven't tried any other emulators on here yet, but uh, but that's that was working nicely. So Amir said that Team Fortress 2 is working, um, but uh, I haven't had success on my 4 gig Pi, so I've switched back over to my 8 gig Pi to give it a try, and hopefully it will. I can get into it and change all the settings, but I couldn't get it to actually launch. Just back on the desktop, he's put four, we've got to personalize, he's put uh, four wallpapers on here. I really like this one with the mountains uh, and the stars, uh, but uh, there's there's other ones on there that are included uh, and all look pretty nice. Yeah, I like that one. Well, that's got some nice color to it as well. Let's stick with that one for now. Also I found that this, this overall search works well. So if I go to say update, you can see it comes up nicely. If I go to printers, that comes up nicely. Everything seems to work nice and fast. Uh, so the Bluetooth isn't supported on the Pi, but with a Bluetooth adapter, it does work, but I found it to be a little bit sketchy. So originally I set this up having Bluetooth Xbox controller, Bluetooth speaker, 
and using Bluetooth internet for my phone just to see if all of it would work. And every now and then it would stop working and I'd have to unplug the Bluetooth adapter and plug it back in again. This configuration with my wired ethernet adapter just, just been perfect. I, it actually, it's so stable, I haven't had any crashes, I've had, uh, I've had nothing sort of, I've had nothing go wrong. It, it, uh, it has been great and I've had it on for hours because installing Team Fortress took ages last night um, because it was, well it said it was 20 gig, uh, but I think it was about a 10 gig download. So yeah, let's have a look at Team Fortress and see if I can get that to load. Let's load Steam first, just to show you how that looks. Now gaming's not going to be its forte because it's obviously Windows uh, and it's uh, running on ARM, which is, which is not ideal for Windows, although things seem to be getting better all the time. And the team at the Raspberry Pi Discord and the WOR team are all working really hard uh, and improvements are coming all the time. And in fact, I need to do an updated video on how you install Windows 10 because the method has changed. It's got easier, um, but it, it keeps changing. Right, so let's close that down. Uh, so you can see here, let's go full screen. And uh, unfortunately I won't be able to run this game because it, it runs terribly, even on low specs. Uh, I was one of the backers from years ago. Uh, so uh, the only thing I've got installed on here is Team Fortress 2. So let's click on that. And all of this is working much better than before. I, I actually think for, for certain things this is definitely viable as an operating system. Uh, the web browser isn't as good as uh, as Linux would be, but it's certainly getting there. And video performance, audio performance is heading in the right direction. There's no doubt about it. So fingers crossed. Let's hit play. So you can hear the intro if I put the music near me. The sound is great. I'm actually amazed at how well my 99p sound card is working with this because the audio quality does sound really good. Now earlier on I turned off the music for uh, the menu screens and I also cho chose to put everything as low as it would possibly go um, but I still couldn't get it to launch on the 4 gig one so as I say fingers crossed okay so we're in uh, I'm just going to see if those settings work again so options uh, video just check that everything is is low advanced Low, low, disabled, low, simple. Yeah, so it looks like all of that has taken. Uh, let's close that down. It's still doing something. Okay, so I have a game environment. Someone's <laughs> way too slow. Okay, so I'm definitely getting less than 15 FPS, which is what I'm here was getting. But uh, it's nice to see it, it has launched. Um, but, uh, but yeah, as you can see, that's running pretty badly for me. Okay, so let's quit out of that. Okay, so there's one more thing I needed to try. Transparency effects. Okay, so let's turn that off. Oh yeah, so you can see that it just shows a bit of the background that comes through. Uh, but it does affect performance, so I won't bother to use that. But it looks nice. Uh, nice to see that it works. And let's just quickly go through uh, settings and just show you that everything really does work really quite well. You know, I can scroll up and down nicely. Uh, I can see about my computer. And you can see everything comes up with all the Raspberry Pi information, which is nice to see. Uh, so if I go back, devices, back, accounts, I haven't logged in with any account. So as I've said before, if you go to the Windows Discord, uh, this is where you get your downloads, this is where you get all your information, this is where you ask questions. Uh, but I did see an uh, information here, uh, it's got a nice list of what does and doesn't work. So you can always check this out if you're if you're wondering what does and doesn't work at the moment. Uh, this is an up-to-date version of what's working with Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi. So thanks to everybody on the Discord, thanks to everybody who runs the uh, WOR website. Everything is running definitely in the right direction. It just keeps getting better. Uh, but I, I, I mean there may be, I thought there was something about games, but I think maybe something like 
uh, a section for working games would be a nice thing to see because then you know what you can install with Steam and what's going to work. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, superb work. Okay, so I hope all this helps. I will do uh, a new updated video on how to set it up. You can follow the instructions in here in the information and it does tell you how to do it, but, uh, but I'll do a video as well. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.